how to create quotes in order entry. Let's have a look at creating quotes. From order entry, order entry transactions, select order entry. The order number in this case will be automatically assigned. Enter the customer number. Once the customer number has been entered, notice on the customer tab that some of the fields are automatically populated by the system. This information is coming from the customer master or from a template if one is being used. Note the values can be manually changed if necessary. Back in the order tab, change the order type to quote. The order date is defaulting to the system session date. The expiration date is defaulting to 30 days past the order date. These fields can be changed if necessary. Note that the location field is also set by default. And the location in the header will determine the ship from location for each line item. In the detail section, we'll begin entering the item or items by using the finder or entering the item number. Once you press tab, the columns will populate with that item's details. You can scroll through the columns or to zoom in on all the details, select the row and click the item tax button. Here, we can see all the fields on one screen. Let's have a look at some of the fields. We can see the item number and description. We can see the category, location, and price list. Enter the order amount in the quantity ordered field. Quantity committed is currently zero. If we want to reserve the item from this quote, we can change this to match the quantity ordered. This means that the item will no longer be available to another quote or order. We can see the unit price. This price is coming from the default price list. If we click the finder, we can see the item's pricing structure. We will leave the default value. In the lower part of the screen, we can see the location details, including the quantity on hand, quantity on sales order, quantity on purchase order, the quantity committed, and the quantity available. When finished adding the details, click Add and Close. Back in the Order Entry screen, we can view and change if necessary the tax information in the Taxes tab. Here we can see the customer tax information. Click the Sales Split tab to see the salespersons assigned to this quote. We can change the percentage or sales split here if necessary. Select the Totals tab to see a summary of totals. Once you verify the amounts to create the quote, click Post. To print the quote, click Yes. Select your print options and click Print and the quote will be printed. If you need to delete an existing quote, call up the quote and select the delete button. Note, you can only delete a quote if it has not been turned into a sales order. That is how you create quotes in order entry.